Hi all, welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss about the gradient based learning. So gradient based learning is a general framework for training machine learning models using gradient based optimization techniques. So remember it is a framework for training machine learning models. So using gradient based optimization techniques. So it is a general framework remember as well as it by using gradient based optimization techniques we are using this gradient based learning. Now you can see it relies on computing gradients partial derivatives of an objective function with respect to the model parameters. So it depends, relies nothing but depends. It depends on computing gradients. Okay. So the gradient based learning is depends on computing gradients. Now you see what is in by this one we are going to have partial derivatives of an objective function with respect to the model parameters. So these gradients are then used to update the parameters iteratively to minimize or maximize the function depending on the learning task. So here you see this approach is a fundamental to many machine learning algorithms. So this gradient based learning algorithm we are going to have in this first one is the linear regression. Second one is the logistic regression. Third one is the support vector machines. Fourth one is the neural networks. And fifth one is the deep learning architectures. So these all are we are going to have this gradient based learning. Now you can see how to how this gradient based learn works. So how this gradient based learning works. So in the first step we are going to initialize the parameters. In the second step we are going to compute the predictions. In the third step we are going to calculate loss. So L of theta. In the step 4 compute the gradients. Now you see this is the formula delta of L of theta is equal to dl by d theta. So we have to update the parameters as well. So how to update this parameters by using this formula theta is equal to theta minus alpha delta L theta. So here alpha is called as a learning rate. So last step we have repeat until the convergence. So in order to have this gradient bear learning works we must follow six steps initialize the parameters compute the predictions calculate the loss compute gradients as well as update the parameters and repeat until the convergence now what are the optimization techniques in this gradient based learning you can see here the gradient based learning optimization techniques are first one is called as you can see on the screen first one is the gradient based second one is the stochastic gradient descent third one is the mini batch gradient descent fourth one is the momentum fifth one is the adaptive learning rate methods so these are called as you can see optimization techniques in gradient based learning means in the gradient based learning we are going to have the types first one is the gradient descent we can also write as gd stochastic gradient descent sgd mini batch gradient descent and fourth one is the momentum fifth one is the learning rate methods so in the learning rate we are going to have ADA grad, RM's prop and ADAM. Now you can see what are the all these. 
so in the above we have discussed about this gradient as well as this stochastic mini batch momentum now we'll see what is the all these in this table here you can observe what is gradient descent so it is the most commonly optimization method so out of these five this method is gradient descent is most commonly used mechanism okay so next parameters are updated in the negative direction remember in gradient descent we are going to have the uh, parameters will be updated by negative direction now this is the formula to calculate this uh, gradient descent so delta nu is equal to delta old so theta nu is equal to theta old minus n delta theta l so here n is called as learning rate n is called as learning rate so this is about the gradient descent now you see stochastic gradient descent so this stochastic gradient descent coming from gradient descent only it is a variant of gradient descent it is the variant of gradient descent parameters are updated using gradient computed from single point remember stochastic it is going to updated by using single point in this it is going to have negative direction but in this it is going to have single point so delta nu is equal to delta old minus n t uh, delta so t theta nu is equal to theta old minus n delta theta l so delta here xi yi so this is called as what we say stochastic gradient descent remember stochastic gradient descent is the type from gradient descent now my mini batch gradient descent it is a variant of gradient descent so parameters are updated using a small subset so in the name itself it indicates mini batch so the parameters are updated by using small subset so next to what we have momentum so what is this momentum it adds momentum term to accelerate coverage and reduce oscillations so this is a formula to calculate this momentum so remember the points gradient descent stochastic mini batch momentum so this stochastic mini batch is coming from gradient descent now so finally we are going to have adam also you can see here so we have adam as well as ada grade so rms prop i will discuss here so what is this adam so adam combines two things first one is called as momentum and rmsp so it is going to combine two things first one is the momentum as well as the rmsp so what is this rmsp root mean square propagation okay so what is the full form of adam adaptive moment estimation adaptive moment estimation so it is a combination of momentum and rmsp now you can see this is the definition this is the formula to calculate this adam values m1 is equal beta 1 mt 1 plus 1 minus beta 1 delta l by delta so this is a rho l by rho wt so similarly v2 is equal to all these now what is the advantage of adam first one is the adaptive learning rates second one is the robustness third one is the efficiency next you see here this is called as what we say ada grade and rms prop so what is ada grade means adaptive gradient algorithm it adapts the learning rate for each parameter based on historical very very important point so this ada grade is based on historical gradients next advantages so what are the advantages of this ada grade easy to use no need for manual as well as adaptive learning rate so these are the advantages of this 
ada grade now you can see this is called as what we say rm s p r o p so rm s prop so what the full form of this rm s prop is we are going to say this is called as the root mean square propagation the it uses moving the average of square gradients so it uses moving the square of moving the average of square gradients but the advantages are we can say effective for deep learning it prevents the learning rate from shrinking too much okay so it's all about the what we say gradient based learning so thank you for watching this video please subscribe my channel